It's a battle over ballots between two city council candidates. The District 5 incumbent and the man who could replace him filed dueling petitions over voter irregularities at one precinct on election day. One candidate wants a recount, the other says there's more to the story. Two News Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada walks us through what we know right now. Jeanette. Naomi Grant Miller, the candidate who got more votes on Tuesday in the District 5 City Council race, filed a petition today asking for a hand recount of all the ballots at Precinct 77. You'll remember the district attorney is investigating irregularities at that precinct on Election Day and that 30 to 40 people didn't get city ballots for their city council race. But City Councilor Mikey Arthrell says a recount is not enough and he wants an investigation. I think it's important that the public get to see um, what has happened and then um, a ruling be made on it. Friday, incumbent District 5 Councilor Mikey Arthrell filing a petition for irregularity, claiming that there were several problems surrounding the District 5 election Tuesday. Among them, he claims eligible voters from every party did not receive ballots and that the Tulsa County Sheriff made misleading comments on live TV while the polls were still open. Essentially what was passed on to me was not only a video, but uh, information that the pollsters there were not giving yellow ballots, which would be for the city council race to Republicans, and that they were only being given to Democrats, Independents, and Libertarians. Vic Regalado endorsed my opponent, Grant Miller. Grant Miller called him directly on his cell phone to begin this investigation, who then held the press conference and incorrectly uh, asserted that it was, uh, or made the impression that it was only Republicans. That is not true. You know, it, it was all um, party affiliations that were denied ballots. Something that the Tulsa Election Board confirmed at that same conference. There were 19 Republicans, seven Democrats, four independents and one libertarian that were denied the city council uh, ballots. Our thrills challenger Grant Miller held a press conference shortly after that filing. Miller stating he was the one who recorded the video that prompted the sheriff's investigation. I'm the one who actually uncovered uh, the issue going on. Had I not gone down there and told them, you know, or asked them what was happening, they would have continued not handing out residence ballots, and that would be a shame because it would have totally swayed this election. Arthrell's petition questions if the state campaigning laws were broken because Miller went to several voting sites that day and questioned workers. Miller's attorney, Ron Durbin, says no calling the claims absurd. Quite frankly, I've read their petition. I think it's a frivolous filing, and we're going to file a motion to dismiss for a frivolous filing. Arthrell says it's the district attorney's job to correct their irregularities and says he just wants the public to know what exactly happened and a ruling be made. So what's next now that the irregularity claim has been filed with the court? The judge will have to access the information, such as who was turned away and if they were able to return to get their ballots counted. Then the judge will determine if these irregularities lead to a revote or not. In studio, Janet Quesada, Tunis, Oklahoma.